There are unyielding oppositions that cannot be overcome with a simple prayer and faith alone. However, there are specific methods available to us that can strengthen our prayers. Welcome to a Spirit and Scripture channel. In this video, we will discuss three powerful enhancers for your prayers. First, personal testimonies. God instructs us to remind Him of His promises, Revelation 12 verse 11. This indicates that testimonies hold power in the hands of believers. Revelation 12 verse 11 states that they triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. In the Bible, we see that even a brief moment of Hezekiah sharing his personal testimony during prayer secured divine intervention in his situation. Remind God of your faithfulness. Your personal testimony has the ability to deliver you in times of trial. Serving the Lord does not result in fruitlessness. The Bible assures us that you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from among you. None shall miscarry or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. Uh, Exodus 20 verse 3. God blesses those who serve him. So make use of your testimonies. Remind him of how you have served him wholeheartedly, and watch as he releases your inheritance. Your dedication and commitment to God's kingdom will serve as a stronghold for you in times of battle. Second, praying in the Spirit. Praying in the Spirit is another method to amplify your prayers. The opposition we face is spiritual, so we must combat them from the spiritual realm, as our physical efforts alone are insufficient. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Praying at all times in the Spirit, Ephesians 6 verses 12 to 13, 18. This is why Jesus promised us the Holy Spirit to help us transcend the physical realm and enter into the heavenly realm. Without the Holy Spirit's assistance in prayer, we may never experience true breakthrough in our Christian lives. Romans 8 verses 26 to 27. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And he who searches hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. For no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. When you pray in the Spirit, the devil cannot understand your communication with God. The Spirit himself intercedes on your behalf, 1 Corinthians 2 verses 10 to 11. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except the Spirit of that person, which is in him? So also no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. When you switch to praying in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit helps you establish a defense against the enemy. By doing so, you release the rivers of living water that flow within you as a Spirit-filled believer. Whoever believes in me, as the Scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. John 7 verses 38 to 39. Your words and tongues release the river that can overcome any evil flood from the enemy and deliver you from every predicament. Third, fasting. After Jesus emphasized the importance of faith in dealing with opposition, he stated, However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Matthew 17 verse 21 Combining your faith, prayer, and fasting will bring challenges under submission. Jesus fasted for 40 days and never mentioned that event once. However, the impact of his fast was evident in his life and ministry. A fast without results is a mere waste of time is one of the purposes of fasting is to release power. It is not merely a religious activity or something we do in Christianity. It is a crucial force in the kingdom that empowers believers to break the chains of wickedness, undo heavy burdens, and break every yoke. Isaiah 58 verse 9. In Luke 4 verse 14, we learn that after Jesus had fasted for 40 days, the word of God says that Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news about him spread through the whole countryside. When we fast, we connect with heaven. That is why during a fast, it is important to set aside time for studying and fellowshipping with the Word of God. When faced with an opposition that seems unyielding to faith and prayer alone, 
organize a fast to generate a fresh supply of power to deal with it. Then you will call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and He will say, Here I am. If you remove the yoke from your midst, the pointing of the finger, and speaking wickedness, Isaiah 58 verse 9. Fasting produces breakthroughs, remarkable achievements, breakthroughs in your health, spiritual breakthroughs, and answers to prayers.